Who left the lights off? That's better. Anyway, here's a very simple scale and I can read it to find that this switch is now in the on position. Past burning. Hmm, scary. Anyway, here's another scale. It's the dial on some Wayne scales. What mass does the dial show? Well, that's this notch here. Looking at these labels, we can see that each notch is worth one. So counting on one more from four, we get a reading of five. And don't forget the units, which are kilograms. How about this one? Here's our reading. This time, each notch is worth half a unit. Our reading is one notch on from one, so it must be 1.5 kilograms. Okay, here's a speedometer, and the car's doing this many miles per hour. The notch doesn't have a number on it, again, but this one is 40, and this one's in the middle of 40 and 60, so it's 50, which means that this one must be 45. And don't forget the units, which in this case are miles per hour. So the speed is 45 miles per hour. Now, moving on to reading a ruler scale. Let's measure the length of this slug. OK, so that's the reading at this notch here, but we'll have to work out what that is. If we zoom in, we can see that the nearest numbered notches are 5 centimetres and 6 centimetres. There are 10 little notches in this 1 centimetre interval, so each notch must be worth 1 millimetre or 0.1 centimetres. So counting on three notches from five, that's 5.1, 5.2, 5.3. So the slug measures 5.3 centimetres. Sometimes it's not so obvious what each notch on the scale represents. Let's have a look at an example. Whoa, dramatic ruler. I need to measure the bottom of this boat. It's as long as this notch here, but what is that? Well, first we need to work out what each notch is worth. Let's zoom in and go through the method. Right, first we need to count the number of notches from one labelled notch to the next. So from 40 to 50, there are one, two, three, four, five notches. Next, subtract the first label from the second one. So 50 minus 40 equals 10. And lastly, divide that number by the number of notches. So that's 10 divided by five, which is two. So each notch is worth 2 metres. OK, so now all we need to do is count up from 40, adding 2 for each notch. So that's 40, 42, 44, 46, 48 nautical metres. And that's not a real unit, by the way. Now, sometimes you get measurements that have been rounded, like the temperature shown on this digital thermometer, which has been rounded to the nearest whole number of degrees. But because it's been rounded, we don't know what the actual temperature is. It could be anywhere between 37.5 and 38.5 degrees. Anything in that range would round to 38. So there's a possible error of up to half a degree. In general, whenever a measurement is rounded to a given unit, the actual measurement could be up to half a unit higher or lower than the given value. So, in summary, to read scales, First, work out what each notch on the scale represents. Then, find the label before the reading and count on the correct number of notches. And remember, for rounding measurements, the actual value could be up to half a unit higher or lower. And that's all from me on reading scales.